How's it going guys? It's Billy here and I'm back with another video, but this one is all about upgrading my current PC. This is the one that I do all of my video rendering on and all of my video game playing on. Now unfortunately, not even unfortunately, because I'm actually pretty fortunate for having a pretty recent i5 4670K from Intel that I built this PC probably about two to, th no, probably three years ago, I think at this point. And you know what, since I'm starting to do, well not since I'm starting to do, I've always done 4K video rendering, I just wanted to see what else was out there and available to kind of help bring down the render times. Because right now it's a four core, four threaded CPU. I decided to upgrade myself to a six core, 12 threaded CPU in the Intel Core i7-6800K. Now they both have the same base clock frequency at 3.4 gigahertz. My current one does turbo up to 3.8 and I did overclock it a little bit, at least I got it up to four gigahertz, I got it on water using a Corsair H100i. And for the 6800K, this one turbos up to, I think, 3.6 gigahertz. And I heard overclocking is decent, but just not as good as the previous generation, unfortunately. Now, why did I decide to go at least about this way? As I previously mentioned, I'm doing a lot of 4K video rendering. This isn't gonna really help my video game playing very much, since I'm still sticking with my old video card, that is the NVIDIA 980 Ti. And that'll still do great at 1440p gaming, that's what I'm currently doing it as. And actually, hopefully with this new setup, I'll be able to actually be able to stream without having to have a regular, like a streaming box. Additionally, I'll have more cores to be able to do that. And of course, gameplay capture should hopefully be a little bit better too, especially because more cores will allow me to go through that. Probably the biggest change, especially it's gonna be RAM right here. There's only two sticks of four gigabytes from G-Skill. It's clocked in at 1600 megahertz. That is a DDR3 RAM kit. My new one is gonna have G-Skill as well. This time it's gonna be a DDR4 RAM kit. 32 gigabytes in total, that's two sticks of 16 gigabytes, and those ones are clocked in at 2400 megahertz. For my motherboard, the old one was the Gigabyte Z87X D3HCF. My new one is gonna be the ASRock Fatality X99 Gaming, whatever, there's so many names for this thing, but either way, I'm not using it primarily for gaming. It just seemed to fit all of my needs for what I wanted to do with this. So I'm gonna have actually an M.2 drive in here over my uh, Samsung 850 Evo, I have 500 gigabyte, that's my current boot SSD drive. I decided to go with a Samsung 950 Pro instead. It's gonna be a little bit lower in terms of storage capacity, 256 gigs, but I did notice I wasn't even using half of it currently. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna be still reusing a lot of my old components. I'm gonna be still using my old water cooler. I'm gonna still be using all my old hard drives. I'm gonna be using my old case, which is the Corsair A540, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta still clean that thing up a little bit because there's still a lot of dust in there. And I'll also be reusing my uh, video card as well. I did decide to upgrade the fans on the water cooler though because the default ones are really, really noisy and they do wind up a lot and you really, really hear it a lot. I kind of wanted to cool it down instead or rather calm it down instead, and I decided to grab a pair of Noctuas instead to upgrade that. That means if you want to check that out in a future video, be sure to subscribe to us over here if you're not already. Alrighty, so let's upgrade this bad boy. Step on the land.
Alrighty, folks, and there you have it. That is our system finally all brand spanking new, clean and tidy rather than, I can't believe I actually let all that dust settle in there. That's kind of actually disgusting on my part. Anywho, though, it's clean now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. I tried to go with a little bit more of a theme this time with red, but that uh, NVIDIA GPU with their green kind of like, you know, makes it doesn't really stick with it, but you know what? It is what it is. Either way, I tried to go with a little bit of a red theme. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with that or not, we'll see. But I tried to color coordinate it a little bit. I wanna know what you guys think about it. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, benchmarks will be coming soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. But if you didn't, be sure to let me know why in the comment section below, and be sure to hit that dislike button as well. Either way though, thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.